Shana. I was elected by the class to announce our keynote speaker. And the keynote speaker that we have chosen is someone who we gave a hard time when he was first introduced to us. Although over time, we have enjoyed getting to know him. He is a wonderful instructor with a good sense of humor. And one thing that I could guarantee when walking into this man's classroom is that he was going to incorporate his life experience stories, which make for a wonderful way of learning. And we appreciate and thank you for that. Now please welcome Ryan Bedefell. Thank you very much, Rossi. I appreciate that. I want to begin today by not only offering my congratulations to you guys on your accomplishment, but to, to congratulate everyone here today who has supported this group of graduates during their journey for higher education. Each of you have sacrificed a great deal of time with your family You've missed numerous events. You compromise your family time with projects and studying for exams and doing those dreaded APA papers. And I'm happy to tell you that today is your payday. Today is your payday. Everything that you did for the last 18 months comes down to this ceremony. And I urge you and all of your family to soak in every second of this ceremony because you only get this moment one time. So make sure that you make it count. This is a very special group of people. I feel very fortunate to have had the opportunity to get to know you. And uh, in your class, we had some very, very interesting conversations. Uh, I'm quite confident in saying that you, uh, this group made me blush more than any other group I've ever worked with. Uh, and, and you were right, it wasn't always so easy. Because when we first met each other, it was during a time of transition. And it was a transition that was very difficult for you guys, and it was very difficult for me. But being the professionals in training that you are, you use that empathetic understanding that you learned about, and we push forward. And I'm very grateful for that. I'm very grateful for you guys doing that, and I want to thank you for it. So as you leave here, I have only a few final points that I want to give you. And you don't have to take any notes or anything like that. But I want to begin with a quote. Choice, not chance, determines destiny. Choice, not chance, determines destiny. This quote means to me that you are in control of your life. You're in control of your past, you're in control of your present, and you're in control of your future. We're not here today by accident. This didn't just fall in your lap. You made a choice to find out more about Lizzie Wilson. You made a choice that you were going to go on and you were going to pursue your degree. We're here because of a choice that you guys made, and you should be very proud of that. And by making this choice, I hope that you all realize the impact on the lives that you have, the impact you've made on the lives around you. And when you think about it for just a second, because many of you may be first-time college graduates. You're the first generation to graduate from college in your family. That sets the precedent. Some of you may be single mothers. You're showing your children that you can do it. You have affected so many lives by making the choice to be here. So many more than just yours. And you should be very, very proud of that. 